Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys what might happen when you get a Hulu location error and how you can fix it. So let's get right into it. For this, I'll be using the CC Communications article on the matter since it is the most practical solution for me. So let's get right into it. Now, uh, some people do report having problems uh, with Hulu generating location errors and this might happen for a wide variety of reasons. Uh, and and they are pretty much unknown as far as I know uh, it happens for a lot of reasons might be a problem with your device might be a problem with Hulu themselves might be a problem with the app uh, and so on and so forth but these are pretty much the recommended uh, solutions by Hulu uh, firstly you need to log into the Hulu website and update your home location uh, if you have changed your home address uh, be sure to enter uh, either 89406 for the zip code uh, and if the site asks for a zip code, that's what you want to enter. Uh, if you have a PO box with uh, a zip code, this could cause issues with certain channels, but not location errors. And just to avoid it, just enter 89406. Uh, other than that, Hulu allows only four location updates per year. So make sure that you don't move around that much. And from the Hulu website, you can watch it pretty much as easily. Uh, you can watch Hulu with live TV from your home network on any uh, supported device. And when you're out, you can also watch on supported mobile devices uh, on up to two screens at once. Uh, and keep in mind that Hulu cannot be accessed on a living room device outside of your chosen home network. So that won't work. You would need to use the website as well. Uh, Hulu with live TV is intended for use by single household. So subscriptions cannot be shared. And that is pretty much it. If uh, these don't work, uh, ask Hulu uh, which geolocation provider they use and how to contact them and then contact the geolocation provider and request a correction uh, and then provide them if you're current connected to a home network or not and the external e IP address. Uh, other than that, uh, that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.